welcome today we'll be talking about RNN LSTM and JRU so before going to deep into these concepts let's understand our normal traditional neural network so let's take one layer with one neuron and another short mesh layer with one neuron so here we are giving some input and this neuron will process that input and it will it will produce some output or hidden state then our short mesh layer is using that hidden state to create our required output so here this is our traditional neural network and we use this traditional neural network in many cases uh, in uh, doing many predictions where like uh, you know the inputs and outputs are independent of each other so what happens in case of sequential task a sequential task is a task where current state is dependent on the previous state or we can say like you know the next state is dependent on the current state that means the current element our required output will be dependent on the previous element some of the example of a uh, sequential task are dna sequence classification stock market prediction sentiment analysis music generation language translation so in these this kind of cases current state or a current element is dependent on the previous on its previous element to to deal with this kind of tasks or to deal with a sequential task rna network was designed in rna network the output of a layer is fed to the next layer in the current time state and to the same layer in the next time state so to to get a better understanding of this rna network let's take one example so here we have a sentence that is rahul is a cool boy here our task is to create pure stacks for this sentence so as you can see here rahul is a noun is this is a verb this is a determiner this is a this is an adjective and this is a noun so we know all these pure stacks because we, we understand english grammar and uh, by that when we, we read this sentence we understand the sentence its meaning and hence we can we can create the pure stacks so here our task is to design a model is to build a model which will generate these stacks for us here also if just just look at this sentence when we are reading the sentence we are reading it in, in a sequential order we are not reading you know a first then is then good then rahul then boy we are reading the sentence in a sequential manner that is we are reading rahul first then we are reading is then a then good then boy so in similar manner we can we can design one network which which mimic the same procedure so let's take one layer and one neuron here you can see so remember when we are reading this sentence we are reading rahul first then we are remembering uh, the meaning of rahul here then we are reading is so while reading is we remember everything about rahul same thing we are doing here we are feeding rahul first then our layer this neuron will process rahul it will create one hidden state then our short max layer will will use that hidden state to give us our required pure stack that is nn here you can see so here this layer should understand what is rahul and should remember it when when we are we are giving is as an input to the layer when we are giving is we are first feeding the hidden state to the same layer then we are feeding the embedding for the word is to the same layer so just like we did just like we did network is doing the same thing so first it it uh, received the embedding for rahul it processed it and it remember what it means what is the meaning of rahul here then it is using that embedding that process meaning as an input while it is reading the next word that is is then it will process all those information it will create another hidden state and the same thing and the same cycle will go on till the last word the last word that is boy here is being fed to the layer and then the hidden state will be used by the short mesh layer to produce our required pure stacks so this is the architecture of a rnn network
now let's see the same rna network with respect to time step so this is our sentence and these are all pure stacks you can see here this is our architecture first layer is rna layer and second one is short max layer you can see for time set t1 we are feeding rahul first remember we also used to no, while, while we are also reading the sentence, we are first reading Rahul first. So time step T1, Rahul is, is being fed to uh, RNA network, this layer, it is processing that and it is creating the hidden set that is H1 here. Then the same hidden set is, is uh, fed to the softmax layer and it is creating the pure stack NN. And the same output you can see is being fed to the same layer. This is the same layer but here we are representing the same layer with respect to time step so time step 2 we are feeding Rahul that is sorry we are feeding is you can see here then at this time we have two inputs you can see and then it process uh, all those inputs and it uh, it creates another hidden state that is s2 and the same process will go on till the end you can see so guys this is this is rnn this is the visualization of RNA with respect to time step. So as you can see here during forward propagation the information will flow from layer to layer you can see also it will flow with respect to time step that means it will flow like this and the same thing will happen in case of back propagation. So the during back propagation the weights and biases they will be they will be corrected or they will be you know they will be changed by from you know layer to layer so back progression will happen like this from layer to layer also with respect to time state that is it will happen like this also so it was observed that like rnn was good to deal with sequential tasks but it was good when we are dealing with a shorter sequence or or you know the length of the sequence is not that longer when we are dealing with a longer sequence you can see like for this sentence that we are using only two layers with one one neuron and this is the path this is the path for the back propagation you can see it's a bit longer for this sentence also when we have a deeper network we face the issue of vanishing or exploding gradient so same thing happened to rna when we are dealing with longer sentences or longer sequences so Vanishing and exploding gradient happens to RNA in case of longer sequences. And to deal with that, LSTM and GRU network were designed. So what is LSTM network then? So this is the architecture of one LSTM CL. To deal with vanishing or exploding gradient that, that, of, uh, that RNA faces in case of longer sequences, here this LSTM cell state is design so here we are specifically you know we are specifically creating a cell memory through which information can travel from one time state to another also we have introduced gated mechanism that is forget gate update gate and output gate to control the flow of information from one time one time state to another so instead of having only hidden state or uh, input and output we have two that is cell state and hidden state so you can see instead of having one hidden state we are having hidden state as well as cell state so this is the LSTM network with respect to time state you can see here now let's understand the gated mechanism this this gates like forget gate update gate and output gate so as you can see here we have segment activation function here we have damage activation function here also we know that in sigma activation function it will give minimum value that is 0 and it will give maximum value that is 1 and negative 1 is the minimum value for tanis function and positive 1 is the maximum value for the tanis function so let's understand forget gate first forget gate here we are controlling the flow of information like how much information we are keeping from the previous time step or we can say like how much information we are discarding from the previous time state. To, to get a better understanding of these concepts, let's take one example. So, you know, these, these two inputs will be combined together and then it will, uh, 
then the whole combination will be fed to the segment function you can see now let's say the segment function will create an output that is zero then the output will be multiplied with the cell state of the previous time state you can see t minus one so here we are not returning any information you can see the information will be zero when it is one we are keeping all the information from the previous time step let's say it is an arbitrary value that is you know 0.75 between 0 to 1 so here you can see we are returning 75% information of the cell state from the previous time step so up in forget get we are trying to keep or we are trying to discard information from the previous time step now in case of update get we are using using you know new information to update our cell state so in forget get we are forgetting information we are discarding and we are keeping certain amount of information and we are using those information plus new information to update our cell set memory you can see here so you can see here also and in case of output get we are using the updated cell state you can see to create our required output or required hidden state for the particular or current time state you can see so this one t minus 1 and this is t so this is the mechanism of one lstm cell state so you can see guys like you know we have many activation functions so we have weights and biases here weights and biases here also weights and biases here and here so it was observed that you know as as we can see like we have many parameters to train or many parameters to update so it was observed that lstm network its resource requirement is high and also it was little bit slower in training it was also observed that it has a high tendency to overfit now to deal with this kind of issues gru network was designed and this is the architecture of a gru unit so guys i was searching for gru uh, information related to GRU and I found this article you can see so this is this is the architecture of one GRU unit you can see and and this is the update gate this is the reset gate something else similar kind of operation we have seen in case of LSTM I suggest please go through this article this is a very good article on GRU you will get to know all those information about GRU this is a very good article guys you can you can go through this Okay then, so we have completed RNN, we have completed LSTM and we have completed GRU. So guys, I hope uh, this video helps you. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.